How's it going, everybody? It's the CDH Warrior coming at you, and welcome to the Shirtless Chef. So today we're going to be taste testing diet meatless bacon and cheddar style mac and cheese. I'm lactose intolerant, so I have to look at some of this to figure out whether I can consume it. And I'll do this for you all to taste test and tell you what I think of it. Last week we did the Alfredo... Last week? A few weeks ago we did the Alfredo style version of this. So this is basically going to be the same general premise. So I've got a pan right here. see if I can get the pot into view. So the pot right now has absolutely nothing. I'm going to pour eight cups of water into a saucepan. And I've got I believe a three quart. Yeah, I've got a three quart saucepan. So we're going to put that on high until it boils. Here's our shells. Here's our cheese sauce. And I believe this should be our bacon bits, or our bacon. So I started doing these videos. I think something on the eye is burning. We'll deal with that in a little bit. Um, because there aren't many um, reviewers out there that actually think about people with food allergies. I mean, I myself am lactose intolerant, missing about a third of my intestinal tract. So going through things, are, it's not easy. It's one Living life with a food allergy is not easy. Most people think, well, it's just limiting you on what you can have. But it's one, when you get into things like dairy allergies, which you would think people would understand since lactose intolerance and dairy allergies have been known about for decades, somebody would have figured out how to make food that was edible, as well as keeps us from having sicknesses from eating milk, eating and drinking dairy products. But what are you going to do? Over the next couple of weeks, I'm going to try and also bring you some food reviews, not just of stuff that I'm cooking, but also I found Planet Oat Dairy-Free Ice Cream. Uh, there's also So Delicious Ice Cream. And we'll try and taste test and discuss the differences and I'll give you my take on is it good, is it bad, and then let you all decide. So, I'm just adding a pinch of salt. Maybe a little bit more. Um, so, 
So, I discussed in the last video that I'm a CDH survivor, as you can tell by all the scar tissue. Oh, yeah. It's on my left side. All the way around my back. But it's one... I was born with a birth defect called congenital diaphragmatic hernia. It affects about 1 in 2,500 children, between 1 in 2,500 and 1 in 3,000. Um, and I had to have 13 procedures just to get everything put back in place. But it's one... I live with a rare disorder in a life somewhat in the shadows. I mean, most people don't think about that, but you really do. Um, I've been fortunate to find Facebook groups and different nonprofit organizations that are trying to help bring this birth defect to light, but it doesn't necessarily make it any easier. Not so much on me, just the fact that it's hard to raise awareness for it. Because too many people don't have a full grasp on what goes on. But back to our cooking. We're still waiting on the pot to boil. We're going to cook this for approximately six minutes. Then I'm going to go ahead and do something that it's already told me to do, is try and... We're massaging the sauce. Hello, cat. Yes, this is our 17-year-old cat. 17? Yeah, 17-year-old cat. That just walked in the room and started grumbling. Now, is that your opinion? Fortunately, we don't have the two Bassets to express their opinions. Because they're quite loud. It is one I'll try to do some food reviews. I've got a video game series starting... Ow! That's actually hot! Next Friday, we will be... I will be working with my friend, uh, Romikey Studios. And we will be streaming <clears throat> the Assassin's Creed series. We're going to start with Assassin's Creed 1 and then move on to Assassin's Creed 2. And then I th think I'd like to do, do the Ezio series before we move on to anything else. Before we move on to 3 and 4. But we'll see what happens. I think I'd like to do it in timeline order, which I know Assassin's Creed 1 is not officially the first one in the timeline, but I think we start off with the original to get a general baseline of the controls and of the game itself. 
to be honest, I actually started doing live streams before I started this series. I had kicked this idea around about two years ago. Yeah, almost two years ago. And it's like, it was a funny concept because it's like, who wants to watch shirtless cooking? But it's been kind of a funny experience. Everything you see is raw, unedited, well, minus the title card that you saw at the beginning. But it's one... Everything you see is exactly as it happens. There's no cuts, there's no major missteps. There's no, oh, we'll take a commercial break and come back. This is real live, unedited cooking in real time. We're still waiting for a pot to boil at this point, so that's what we're waiting on. Give me one second. And now we have light. Sorry, I didn't realize how dark this room was going to get. But anyway, I'm going to shuffle the camera around a little bit so we can still see the pot. Because I want you all to see exactly how real-time this is. Because here's our pasta. Here's the sauce. And here's our bacon. And our pot is almost at a boil. Come on. You're almost there. This is one of the harder things and the reason why they edit cooking videos is that you're not going to suddenly have a pot boiling in seconds. That's just literally physically, by the laws of physics, impossible. Well, it's possible according to physics, but we'd be burned in the process. But it's one... I'm sorry, I'm flipping subjects continually. It's one... One thing I've learned in all my years of living with a birth defect is you're going to meet people that understand and then you're going to have people that don't. And the best thing we can do to the people for the people that don't is try and learn to educate them. That's part of what the series is going to be. It's going to be cooking and learning. Come on. They're on the edge of it. I guess it's actually true when they state a watched pot never boils. I just realized this is supposed to be three servings. It's not going to be three servings. It's going to be one, maybe two.
but it's one one of the issues that people don't consider with CDH and many birth defects for that matter is they assume that once the defect is repaired or made normal to the best of the abilities of the medical field, it's over. They move on, they forget about the fact that we become adults. And they forget about the fact that just because we're repaired doesn't mean we're fully healed or back to normal. I think our pot is finally boiling. Looks like it's at a pretty good rolling boil. So now we're going to dump our pasta in and cook it for six minutes. Let me get a spoon. It's on the other side of the kitchen. We're going to take this. I've got a pair of scissors. Cut the top off of it. Cut the top part of this so we don't wind up with pasta everywhere. for six minutes. I think this one's taking a little bit longer than the other one did, but not by much. But anyway, while well, we've got this cooking, I kind of wanted a stool, but I realized a stool would wind up putting me below the counter level. So, I knew that wasn't going to work. This one, I think also people miss how much dairy is in other things. Everyone wants to consider, well, if you're lactose intolerant, you have to watch for things like, you pretty much stay away from cheese, milk. heavy cream, things like that. Yeah, that's part of it. But a lot of people don't realize how much hidden lactose and dairy there is in things. I mean, it's one. Obviously, I'm making dairy-free mac and cheese, so yes, originally there was obviously lactose in this. Originally. Before they made the dairy-free variant. But things like bread that most people don't think about how much dairy is used to make bread. When you make a cake, you use milk. Sometimes you'll use water, but for the most part you use milk as your liquid. Huh. 
I'm looking at what I just pulled out of this package and it's like, this is supposed to feed three people. It may feed one. This one, probably next week's video won't be a cooking video, but it will be a food review on planted oat ice cream. Which is another thing that if you're lactose intolerant, there aren't, there used to not be many options. It was lactate or you suffered. But now there's so many different variants. They can make coconut milk, almond milk, cashew milk. Um, there are several others. But that's where we've come a long way in 10 years. Because it's one I didn't discover I was lactose intolerant until I was. 15, and I'm 26 now, so that gives you an idea of, I've known I've been lactose, I lived with lactose intoler intolerance without knowing for longer than I've known I've been lactose intolerant. But it's one Having CDH, it was always a major worry about the fact that we have trouble gaining weight. So the inability to gain weight is already hard enough without lactose intolerance complicating everything. to grab a colander. Got one here. We're going to take this off the heat. We're going to take the colander. I'm going to lay this right here, and that's our spoon. Hang on one second. But anyway, we're going to carry this, our colander. You can see it there. We're going to take our pot. Sorry, I'm trying to figure out where the phone camera is while I'm holding it, so there's our pot. There is our pasta going in. Getting a steam facial from that. We're going to take a second. Now, I'm going to disappear off screen and walk back over with our pasta. Like I said, as near to real time as we can.
pour this back in the pot. That was our pasta that we just drained. Trying to get the last of it out. Now, don't judge. I'm in my own. I'm in my own home, so. Now we're going to take our pasta, add our cheese sauce to it. This was the packet for the cheese sauce. Would help if I tried to open it the right direction. No, when I said it was in as near real time as possible, the only thing you didn't see was the walk between the kitchen stove and the kitchen sink. But here is our. Cheese sauce, it's going in here. Mm. We're going to slowly stir this in. And this is actually, it tastes like they actually melted the Daiya cheese and put it in this. This is our bacon. Don't worry, I'm going to put real bacon in it as well. If I can get it open. Kind of odd. But that was our bacon. Actually it tastes like real bacon, so it's not bad. No, I'm not gonna put real bacon in this. I don't have any to put in there. Oh well. Remember I said this would be in as near real time as possible? I started this video before I got the pot. I had gotten the water together, but I had not gotten the pot yet. And we are at right at 29 and a half minutes. So, now we're going to start our second part of this. Be back in one second. So we're back with a bowl and a spoon. And here is the plating. Oh, look at that. I'm not sure how to make it not miss the bowl, but we'll deal with that. Okay. 
going to take our spoon. This is one that actually came from my uh, standard kitchen silverware, so. Okay, here's our bowl. Now to taste. Mmm. Good. It's creamy. Not too sure about the bacon, the fake bacon bits. They're kind of crunchy, which is kind of weird. But all in all, it's a pretty good fake. Um, it doesn't make me miss the cheese, but. I don't know, it's like there's something missing. Although it's not bad. It's not what it that what it's missing is a good or a bad thing, it's just different. So I'll give this a thumbs up. For the CDH Warrior? Well, I'll finish it off this way. I work for an organization called CDH Stars and Angels. They did not in any way sponsor this, not being mean, but realistic, because I want you all to realize that this is my own unbiased opinion on things. This was a really good attempt. I'll try and do some real cooking over the next few weeks, but That'll have to wait until I've got some more time. But it's one. I work for an organization called CDH Stars and Angels. We are a 501c3 nonprofit that helps children with the severe birth defect congenital diaphragmatic hernia, which you've heard me talk about through this video. Uh, our current our upcoming event, we will be reading with Santa. So one of our members and her husband will be going on Facebook Live to read to Facebook, essentially. If you want to check that out, that is Friday night... And I'll give you the link in the description to my video. I also am going to be doing a live stream with Epic Gamer Mikey starting next Friday with Assassin's Creed. So if that's piqued to your interest, come join us. You'll have a lot of fun with it. I guarantee you that. For the CDH Warrior, the shirtless chef... This has been diet, cheddar, and bacon-style mac and cheese. Have a great day.